Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Huey's Tackle. Tonight we're going to paint a lighter version of a bluegill. So we'll start with this white base coat. This pattern here I have on another lure and I was going to touch it up, but it was too far gone to touch up, so I'm going to try to paint another one. Get it on that tail because I forget sometimes. Alright, now we're going to heat set. Next, we're going to add some of this wicked golden yellow to the belly here. We'll go up. We'll probably try to start right in here somewhere. I'm not going to heat set this. I'm going to come back over this with some orange. Let me clean out the gun and be right back. Next, I've got some wicked yellow or wicked orange in here. And when we shoot, we're going to try to leave a little tail into this yellow back here. Try to leave a little of that yellow right there. Barely letting paint out little by little. All right, now we're gonna heat set. Next, we're gonna cover the back and the sides of some detail. I think it's yellow ocho is what it's called. Here. 
try to stop at this lateral line, leave a little that white as well. Next, we're gonna heat set. Next, I've got the scale netting just over the back because I'm not gonna go all the, over the whole bait. Just gonna kind of hit the back and let the overspray come down the sides. I've got this detailed burnt umber in here. So let me see if I can get it. My hand may be in the way for a second. If I can get on this other side. Alright, next we'll heat set. Alright, next we'll go over our netting. So it looks like this. So I'm going to use that same color and I'm going to just darken up this back a little bit. Here on these eyes. Next, we're gonna come back with some black magenta around the eyes and do some stripes. All right, next we got our black magenta loaded in and we're gonna go down the back here. Gotta get off this stand for a second. Look at these eyes. Back a little darker. Top of these eyes here. See my scale nade didn't come down far enough on one side. Let's see. Now we're going to put this on. Put this on here. And let me find my little stripes real quick. Use the same one they used the other night that I had taped off. We're just going to do a light coating across here. darker than I wanted on the other side but I really couldn't tell that anything was coming out. I will heat set real fast. Next I've got some Laguna Blue loaded in the gun. Turn down this pressure some. I'll do the little blue here under their gills.
I hope it ain't frying here, you can see. Make sure when you do this, don't run too much air pressure and don't let too much pain out. If not, it'll run like crazy. I've had that happen a lot. Looks about good. Next, I'm going to clean this out and we'll come back and I'm going to put a little black around the eyes, the nose. I'm gonna put this little fin here on there as well. All right, now we got a black loaded in here. We'll hit around these eyes and on the nose. It's gonna darken that little piece up. Grab my little wheel here. So let's do, I'll do this one. I'm going to put it right here. It should be close to being in the right spot. Flip it over and put the same one up in the same spot. So, right at the bend there. Wipe this off. I'll say right there, looks about right. And we'll heat set that and we'll come back and we'll put a white or red dot. I haven't decided. So I got this black in here. I think I'm going to add this little fin here. My other fin wheel I have is too big for this bait. So I'm going to use this little one here. Right below that lateral line there. Now we'll heat set and put that dot in. Alright, we got some red loaded in here. We're gonna put a dot right here inside this black. Put a bigger dot than what I normally have. There we go. And that should do it for this one. Put the eyes on it and clear it. Don't look too bad. I don't think you can really see with the light. It's a different little bluegill pattern. From the other one I put up, the other one I put up was a darker green. This is more of a lighter brown. So I want to thank everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe. Look for that 10 subscriber mark for that giveaway. Thanks for watching.